Welcome back. As some of my viewers may remember, uh, a while ago I did some talk estimations on lead screws and things like that. It's called CNC Basics Part 1. And I did it actually on that shaper. So some of you may have guessed I'm going to CNC that machine and that's exactly what we're doing. So the idea is actually fitting a stepper motor on the horizontal and vertical drive eventually one on the feed as well I don't know but uh, I think it's just it's just a nice project and positioning accuracy with the uh, with the crank is not so super there are no dials on it so you always need an indicator so why not fitting a pulley here and put a stepper motor down there you can still crank it by hand I don't know if anyone made an attempt to make a CNC shaper, but uh, I just had the idea and uh, I think it's it's probably a neat project. Um, what I also want to do is, because I, I fit an inverter drive, I'm going to put some reed switches here, which lower the speed on the change of direction so that the clonking, in the, the clonking and the wear in the machine would be less. And it gives you other opportunities to play with. You can always stop at the rear and things like that. Otherwise, you just hand crank the whole thing all the time. Just some features which I would like. And if we do it with pulleys and motors, uh, we can still crank it by hand and use it as normal. I think it adds extra convenience to the machine, especially if you do more than one pass. So you can just cycle it and crank it up a little, cycle it again and uh, leave it alone so that's the idea for the CNC shaper so we tried to figure out what the thread is on that end it was just a washer pushing against that and I don't know if that's visible but the, but the nut has really walked its way into the washer here so well we, this is um, this is half inch BSW, so that's half inch red wood. Um, confirmed, I checked it. This nut doesn't look really nice either. So what we're gonna do, we drill that to the core size for a half inch red wood. Uh, this is 10.5 millimeters, and then we'll tap it. Well, and that's how it comes together. The motor goes here. We already bought the pulley, put some head screws in, the motor goes here eventually. We're just making the motor plate, let's see if it fits, it fits, just bought it. Uh, yeah, we drill the holes and then we put some slots in so we can actually adjust the tension. All right. Let's debrew that and uh, make the slot. So we put it on the mill, uh, just clamped it on a one, two, three block into the vise. I don't want to take the vise off and turn it around because it's dialed in. So we're going to make a slot just here and uh, should be okay. We are probably make that 300 over the length. I'm absolutely happy with that. It's uh, not precision work. So let's mill that, and then we'll try it on the shaper. So and that's how it looks fitted to the machine. Just got a stepper here, and it's out of the way. We don't restrict the travel downwards. Let's get on to the electronics. Okay, the setup is uh, power supply, uh, lead shine, Emerson 52 stepper driver, and a Arduino running gobble software. Uh, I'm not going to use that for the final thing. It's just easy because I have it and I can do the movements via the computer. The software we use for moving the whole thing is called Universal G-Code Sender. 
Uh, it's a Java application and you can freely download it from the internet. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description. The motor is just a motor I had. Uh, it's not the one I want to use at the end, uh, but uh, yeah, it's just for trying out proof of concept basically. So we had it all rigged up and uh, ready to do our first movements here and see what it does. We know it's a bit stiff in places, but that's the shaper, uh, which probably needs a bit of scraping on the on the waist because it's getting really stiff towards the end. So we're playing a little bit with the repeatability. Um, the stepper motor is just one I had and I'm not really happy with it because I think it needs a little bit more torque uh, if the machine is cold it's losing steps so I was expecting that somehow so let's move that back and forth a couple of times and see what it does yeah, as you can hear we're losing steps here which is bad The machine is well oiled, it works. But we need more power. Yeah, another step lost. The problem with this motor is it's a three wire motor. Um, so you can't really switch it to low voltage. Um, I'm running about 60 volts at the moment. That's the maximum what the or 65 volts. That's the max what the driver can do. But I'm generally happy it works so far. I'll just try it another time. I think if you cycle a few times, you make it better. So the, the ratio is okay, I'm running in full step mode on the driver because that's where it does the most torque. Um, it just needs a few cycles and once the thing is warm it's, it's okay, but uh, I'm not happy with it. It needs a bigger motor. So we need to find a bigger motor. Too bad. Uh, one hundred of a millimeter. I think it didn't lose steps this time. We lose 100 per step. I think that's the startup. If you watch the, the pulley, it's chittering a little bit because the motor is right on the limit. So we're going to fit a bit of bigger motor here and uh, it should be fine. It's um, The problem is the bearings here, the truss bearings are, it's just washers. And um, if they don't have enough oil, it, they, they, there's quite a bit of friction in the lead screws. Let's do a few full sweeps here. Yeah. 
I think the motor is capable, the problem is I can't run this driver on the 6 wire setup. It doesn't draw the current, the motor says 10 amps and I can't draw that current with that driver, it only does 5. Ok, so further plans are using some software I'm gonna write myself because there is no useful software really to use with a shaper. Uh, because we, we're gonna figure out when the ram is on the back and then we're gonna do the movements and things like that. I've got some ideas already how I'm going to do that and uh, we'll carry on because now it's winter time, the shop is cold so I'd rather stay in the electronics lab and do a bit of software and, and electronics there. I just wanted to see how much that stepper motor is actually capable of and actually of if, the, if the setup works okay with, with everything here. Um, looks good to me so far. This will certainly going to be a multi-part series, don't know how many parts and depends on how much time I've got on hand. Um, but I had the bits laying around for quite a while and thought I'm going to give it a try now. And apparently it does what it's supposed to do. What else can you expect? It's simple, just move a lead screw back and forth. Okay, that's got to be it for the moment from the CNC shaper. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, until next time.